Hello, you rebel scum. This is the Scooby Doo Mistakes 15,000 follower Q&A. My name is... Hello? 15 and a half thousand? You guys are too fast. Whatever, 15,000, 15 and a half thousand. Either way, it's a q and A. I've got your questions here. Well, not here yet, because the phone's not on right now, but when it is, they will be there, and I'll answer them, and it'll be fun, maybe. My name is Colin. I'm a 20-year-old PR and theater photographer in Durham, North Carolina. I do weird art stuff, basically. Yay, fun, art things. Let's get on to the questions. What is your absolute favorite Scooby-Doo mistake? Okay, at the moment, this would have to be Freddy's floating torso in, now, uh, what episode was that? I think it's called Ghastly Ghost Town. For a couple seconds, Freddy is a floating torso in a cave, and then his eyebrows disappear. And it's just wonderful, because you don't even have to pause it to see it. You know, you can pick up on it easily. It's Mwah, just, just beautiful. Which Scooby-Doo celebrity cameo was your favorite? Okay, I'm not through all of those episodes yet, I'm still catching up, but so far it would definitely be Jonathan Winters. He did good impressions, he was actually a very funny person, unlike a lot of the guest stars, and he added something real to the show. It wasn't just a Scooby plot with a cameo from a celebrity thrown in for no reason, he actually added an interesting character, did something fun with it, so yeah. Go, Jonathan Winters. I hope you're not dead. What's your star sign? Twinkly. Okay, got a lot of these. What inspired you to start this blog? Why did you start Tumblr? What made you want to do this blog? How did you end up starting this blog? Okay, that story goes back to when I was a little kid. I grew up watching Scooby-Doo like a lot of you probably did. I, you know, had the old VHS tape copies of a lot of the reruns, and ever since I was a wee little babby, I sort of had eagle eyes. No, I don't mean the song by Stonebank. I mean, I was very observant, and I saw these things as they went by, and so when I was a little older, I'd pause them and take photos and show them to family. And so then when my little brother Oliver, who will be there later, was old enough, I started to introduce him to the shows and we'd watch them together. But basically, the blog just happened when we wanted to have an online place to put them, to send people to go see them, and for the longest time, I didn't even tag the posts. This was entirely just a, I would host them there and send people to them and that'd be fun. And then eventually I said to myself, well, people might actually want to see this, so I tagged the photos a little bit and started to foray into the world of people actually being able to see them because I thought that, yeah, a couple people would probably enjoy this. Just a couple. What's your favorite Scooby-Doo derp? Right now, the one that comes to mind is this one. He looks like a frog. It's very unsettling. Beautiful. What's your age? 20. Morning routine. Wake up. Start being awesome. Do you have Instagram, and if so, what is it? Okay, sure. I will miss no opportunity to be a shameless sellout. My Instagram is photo C4, just the word photo, and then C4, and I post cool things, and places I go that have cool things, and stuff I've done, and I won't waste your time. It's, it's only cool stuff, depending on your perspective. But for me, it's cool. Ah, here we go. Do you watch any of the modern shows? Have you ever heard of the 13 Ghosts of Scooby-Doo? What are your thoughts on the Scooby-Doo live-action movie? Is a pup named Scooby-Doo? Yes or no? I've not seen any of them. Seriously, none of them. I grew up on the old stuff, and my impression of the new stuff was that it wasn't any good when I was little, so I've seen none of it. I'm just watching through these things for the first time, and I'm going to be going through them in order. So right now I'm going through some of the new Scooby-Doo movies from 1972 or whatever that I had never seen before, and after that we'll just keep on going and see what makes for funny derps for you. Who knows? How can I get my face that smooth? Okay, for those confused, that's referring to the original Q&A posts I made about this video, so they had my face in it. Um, yeah, the secret is thousands of dollars of camera equipment. And bathing your face in pig's blood every day. Oh, somebody posted a video and asked for thoughts. Okay, sure. Oh, 
okay, yeah, you know, it, it's Pop House, it's not bad, not really my thing, but the animation's fun, so cool, whatever. How did Shaggy get Scooby? Pet Store, The Pound, does anyone know? Ah, well, you see, when two mystery solvers love each other very much, they... First off, IDK, if this is just me, but you kinda look like James Rolfe. Who's that then? Huh. Huh. Okay, I don't really see that myself, but who knows. Uh, I'm more used to just people telling me that I look like the one lead singer from the popular band. I don't know what they are. They're people li okay, people like them. They're not a boy band, but they're liked by a similar demographic. They're very, very popular. There's some big name people like, I don't know. I don't know these things. Maybe some one of you knows what I'm talking about. They're popular. People say I look like the lead singer because I have the glasses. I don't know. I don't know. Second, do you ever make films slash are you interested in filmmaking? Um, not so much on the filmmaking side of things, but on the cinema side, I'm big into that. And I've got a friend who does some awesome cinema studies classes around the world, but especially in NYC and in North Carolina where I live. So I've been seeing some great things where we'll all watch a movie in an actual theater and he will stand up and pause it in the middle of it and instruct off of that. And we'll say, okay, in this scene, look out for this, or here's this behind the scenes detail that will help you understand this. And it's all really, really cool. And listen, actually, if you're in the area, shoot me a message. I'm close with the big guy. I'll get you a ticket. What do you think about Scooby D, the cousin that wears makeup and speaks in a southern accent? Does she freak you out like she does me? Yes, Scooby D is kind of weird because she's in that uncanny valley area of. She's a normal dog character, but has an unusual number of human female attributes put on her with the voice and everything, so yeah, that's kind of creepy, I will admit. I, I guess if she was a more straight-up anthropomorphic character, it wouldn't weird us out, but she isn't, so yeah. What are your thoughts on Girl Scout cookies? Do you like them? Do you have a favorite? Personally, I love Samoas. Cool. I've never had a Girl Scout cookie, but... Samoas sound like they ought to be some sort of poisonous, toxic desert snake, so I'm gonna go with Samoas. Favorite Scooby-Doo character? Okay, that's easy. That would be this background character from, I think it's To Switch a Witch. He's just, just perfect. Just, just look at him, okay? He's perfect. If you had to, ooh, um, family show? Not gonna be reading that one in full. If you had to blank one character, which would it be? Oh yeah. Have you ever listened to the podcast Scooby Doos or Scooby Don'ts? Um, no, but I'll give it a look. I will see if it fits into my standard podcast rotation and see what happens. Where are your glasses from? Ray Ban. How the heck do you solve a Rubik's Cube? I'll show you in a second. How are you so freaking cool? Dunno, just happens. Do you like Nirvana? Um, I've heard some Nirvana. They're they they're good, you know, not my style as much, but they're fine. You know, my style is more of... Or sometimes... And occasionally even... Okay, cube time. Step one, take a cube. It can be any kind, even a stickerless one like this, and scramble it up properly so people know that you aren't cheating. You know, I, I would advise sort of you, you can toss it around with your eyes closed and therefore you don't know what side is what and you will be good to go. Now, step one, you have to put all of the uh, white edges around the yellow center. So we're going to start off by doing that. Like that. There. Now we're going to put them on their proper sides and then onto the bottom. Like that. Next, we have to put all of the edge corner pieces thingies in. And so we're going to do that. And that. And that. And that, and even a little bit of that. And there, first layer's done. Now we have to put all of the middle edge pieces in. So we're going to do this. Oh. 
and this one is backwards, so we have to do two things to make it go right. There we go. And now you're at this step. Now the final layer is the hard one, and we have to start by making there be a white cross. <laughs> what, what, what am I saying? A yellow cross on the top like that. Next up, we have to flip around the corners so they are on their respective sides like that. Next, we have to make the yellows all be the right side on the top, which is good. And now we have to rotate around these edges on the top so that they all fall in place. And then you're done. It's really quite simple. Um, once you're at this point, you know, you can do some other cool stuff that people like. You know, you can do this. That's a good option, you know. You can also just as easily undo it and instead choose to do this, which is another popular thing. And, um, yeah, you know, easy pretty much. <laughs> Sorry, Salvatore. Look at the widow baby. Look at the widow baby. Oh, look at him. Look at him all sleepy. Do you want to help me with the Q&A? You want to, huh? No? No, you don't want to? You can be here. Okay? You'll be here and we'll answer questions. No be here? No be here. Ever seen the Skooks video? I've heard of that. That's the thing with the thing, right? Did you know that according to Mystery Incorporated, Scooby is canonically descended from Eldritch Abominations, and that's why he can talk? That's wonderful. Oh, okay, here we have three questions that nicely encapsulate the range of reactions people have to a certain character, so let's listen. Do you like Scrappy-Doo? I sometimes feel like I'm the only one who does. Okay, easy one, but I'd like a fairly detailed answer if you don't mind. Scrappy-Doo, your thoughts. And finally, again, the window. I'm sorry, no. I'm sorry, the window stays closed. It's hot out there. Look, my cheeks are red. That's how hot it is. No, no, no outside for kidding. Anyways, if you had to kill Scrappy-Doo, how would you do it and where would you hide the body? Well, I've not seen enough Scrappy-Doo to say yet, but... I imagine my reaction will be somewhere between, you know, liking him and killing him. Somewhere there. Do you have a favorite cartoon? If so, what is it? Oh my gosh, this is a very, very good question. And I will have two answers for you. The first one is the safe for everyone option, and that is Two More Eggs. It is a series of cartoon shorts done by Matt and Mike Chapman, who you may know as the creators of Homestar Runner. They do... Oh, now you want up, sure. Of course you do. Now you want up. They made a series of shorts for Disney XD, which is one of their channels or something, that are all on YouTube right now. It's 40 of them. They're one and a half to two minutes each, I think. And they are wacky and funny and weird and have the Chapman's classic, you know, very improvisational, weird word creation and bizarre characters and all sorts of shenanigans. And it's the kind of thing that you can show your little brother and your best friend and your parents all at the same time and no one's going to be offended or anything so i would highly recommend it it's two more eggs just search youtube for that okay my second recommendation and the one that's not safe for everyone is the cartoon rick and morty on adult swim it is absolute genius i have to watch how much i say about it because if i let myself go on too long this will just become an hour of me talking about the show it's incredibly witty the humor even when it's being crude it's very intelligent and self-aware the actual sci-fi elements are very strong it's remarkably deep and existential it's incredible and the best summary I can give you is this. Listen, I'm not the nicest guy in the universe because I'm the smartest and being nice is something stupid people do to hedge their bets. Well, come on, let's get going. Dad, the dishwasher's doing that thing again. Washing dishes? No, the opposite. Can you fix Grandpa it? Grandpa Rick, can you help me with my science homework? Yeah, d just don't do it. Grandpa! Hey, Rick, you got some kind of hand-shaped device that can open this mayonnaise jar? Wow, hat trick. Let me try something. Ah, I'm Mr. Meeseeks. Look at me. Hi, Mr. Meeseeks. I'm Mr. Meeseeks. Look at me. Hi. Can you help me get two strokes off of Jerry's golf swing? Can do. I'm Mr. Meeseeks. 
guys, I don't expect you to understand this, but time breaking twice means our problem is two times bigger and we've got half as much time to solve it. Well, actually, I do expect you to understand that. It's basic math. C can somebody just let me out of here? If I die in a cage, I lose a bet. Yeah. Whoa, what's this about tuna salad recipes? I think it had an actual question, but then it got distracted by potential tuna salad recipes. Favorite Scooby-Doo character, and do you have any tuna salad recipes? For anyone who didn't see the Q&A post where I made a joke about tuna salad recipes, you're wondering why everyone asked about that, but just trust me. It's really good, it's on screen right now, make it. Make it. The presidential race is down to Donald Trump and Scrappy-Doo. From which country do you seek asylum? Well, if we're following the logic of the other question, where we killed him, he can't be running for president, which means we can elect this guy instead. He looks like he has a pretty presidential face. I could see him in the Oval Office. Can't say words. Words don't work. Words don't say properly. Ugh. Now, I haven't been exactly subtle about how little I trust marriage. I couldn't make it work and I could turn a black hole into a sun, so... At a certain point, you gotta ask yourself, What are the odds this is legit, not just some big lie we're all telling ourselves because we're afraid to die alone?